We've got breaking news tonight in the case of Donald Trump versus the USA, also known as the Justice Department's investigation of classified documents seized from the former guy's Florida club. Tonight, Judge Aileen Cannon met the DOJ's deadline and appointed a special master to go through the material the FBI found during the search. Judge Raymond Deary, submitted by Trump's legal team and agreed to by DOJ lawyers, will be getting the job. He now has until November 30th to complete his review. But Judge Cannon denied a key DOJ request to continue reviewing classified material as part of its criminal investigation. DOJ has said it would appeal the judge's ruling to the 11th Circuit, so stay tuned. Meanwhile, NBC News has confirmed Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, on your screen right there, has complied with a subpoena from the Justice Department's investigation into the six. That now makes him the highest-ranking ex-Trump official to do so. Tonight, The Washington Post has new reporting on the dozens of other January 6 subpoenas that were issued over the last week. The Post says it reviewed three of the subpoenas, which covered, quote, 18 separate categories of information, including any communications the recipients had with scores of people in six different states where supporters of then-President Trump sought to promote what are known as alternate electors. Today, Trump, in an interview, was asked about the possibility he could get charged and here's some of what he had to say. Do you feel like the Department of Justice is trying to indict you, Mr. President? Well, there is no reason that they can. I did absolutely, you've seen the legal papers, absolutely nothing wrong. I think if it happened, I think you'd have problems in this country, the likes of which perhaps we've never seen before. I don't think the people of the United States would stand for it. What kind of problems, Mr. President? I think they'd have big problems. Big problems. Also, the January 6th Congressional Committee now saying justice officials will have to wait to get a look at their findings. The panel's chairman says it will not hand over any information until after the final report is complete. 